this week's collective worship is the last one in our epiphany series i've invited my friend from limitless malvern izzy to share with us about resilience but before we do that take a look at this video imagine you're a strong tree in summertime you grow fruit in autumn you bear color in winter you are bare but in spring you blossom you change with the seasons but you stay strong through it all the rain batters you the sun beams down on you the wind bends and twists you and the snow is heavy on your branches you go through the storms but you stay strong through it all how well a tree has roots and it's these roots that keep it standing firm no matter the season or the weather the roots help it stand strong so what are your roots what keeps you together no matter the season or the weather who are the people you rely on and the things you do to keep you rooted and resilient. So today we're going to be talking about resilience. Now what is resilience? It's the ability to be able to spring back from a really tough situation. It's the capacity to recover quickly from difficulties. Resilience tests how we can spring back from hardships. So let's imagine that resilience is like the elasticity of an elastic band. So if we are the elastic band and hardship is like the tension that pulls on the elastic band. If the a band doesn't have a much elasticity then it snaps right? So you're pulling this elastic band and you pull it and you pull it and it just snaps. But if the elastic band has good elasticity it means that it can be pulled, but then it will just spring back, spring back into shape. So like us, I guess we can be like the elasticity of the elastic band. We can be pulled with like tough situations, hardships, but if we have resilience, then we're able to spring back. But if we don't, sometimes the situations can be really hard and it, it just breaks us. So to kind of put into perspective, some of these hardships or tough, difficult situations may be things such as like moving schools or having someone you love pass away, dealing with bullying or even having like poor mental health, like having an anxiety attack or in class or like with an exam. It could be anything that puts you at a strain and is uncomfortable. These hardships can be overwhelming and that's why it's good to build our resilience so that we can overcome such difficulties. Now there's a story in the Bible, so in 1 Samuel 17, of someone who was really resilient and he overcame a really overwhelming situation and his name was David. So we're going to read you this story. So David was like the youngest out of all his brothers and his brothers were part of Israel's army. Israel was at war with the Philistine army. One day, David's father told him to go to his brothers to give them food on the front line. And as David was there, he saw that all the Israelites were really afraid of this one Philistine, and he was called Goliath. Now, Goliath was nine feet freaking tall. Like, he, he was huge. Um, he was no ordinary man, and he appeared bigger and stronger than anyone, and they were all scared to fight him. Goliath mocked the Israelites and he taunted them and he was like, oh, your God's not going to save you. No one can beat me and all this kind of stuff. And David was like, I don't agree with that. And he was actually really mad. <laughs> it angered him that he was blaspheming against God. So he decided to stand up for what was right. David went to King Saul and told him that he would fight Goliath. He was offered armour, but David refused it. He was like, no, I don't know about this armour, because he wasn't a soldier, remember? Um, but he trusted God, and he knew that his own experiences, that God always protected him and helped him. So David ran towards Goliath. 
he picked up five smooth stones from the river. Using his slingshot, he picked up one of these stones and he got glass right between the eyes, the forehead, <laughs> and the stone like sunk into his head so much and it was so powerful that this nine foot man fell to the ground. And then David was able to chop off his head <laughs> and the victory was with the Israelites. David had won. And this is really interesting because like, you can imagine both armies, the Israelite and Philistine armies, they would have just watched and all like, whoa, someone who seemed so seemingly unprepared. This little boy, youngest of all his brothers, you know, he only came to give them food, not to fight. Um, he had no experience, no armor, but because he trusted in God, he was able to win. Because he gave his battles to God, God won the battle for him. So like David, we may be facing giants in our life that represent hardship or a difficult situation that we may find ourselves in. Instead of trusting in a circumstance or limiting <clears throat> himself, you know, to what was probably popular belief that he couldn't defeat the Goli Goliath and the Philistine army because of who he was. But he chose to trust in God, God who had all power to fight for him. God cares for us and he loves us and he wants to fight our battles on our behalf. He wants to hear us in prayer, giving him our concerns and worries so that he can help us bring back from them. So with that in mind, I've also come up with some practical tips um, and ways that we can build our resilience. So one is learn to relax. Two, cut yourself some slack and allow yourself to feel and understand because there are ups and downs in life. There is going to be a constant tension um, and we have to practice this self-compassion. Three, practice forgiveness. Four, practice mindfulness. And five, face your fears. And these are just some helpful ways, practical ways that will help you spring back from tough situations. With these steps, remember to also pray and to process. Building resilience isn't like a guarantee that you can face challenges head on and it's all fine about it. Of course your emotions are still going to be in play, but it is a way that will help you to recover from the hard times more easier. So resilience can strengthen character and it can open more opportunities for you as you become more assured in who you are and your identity in Christ. So just remember guys, like the elastic bands, like when we build resilience, we're able to spring back from hard situations and I really hope that with some of these steps and with prayer that God will help you and will help you fight your battles so that you can spring back from these hard times. As we said last week, following his baptism, Jesus went through a really tough time. Being in that desert for 40 days with no food, no drink, battling the lies of the enemy. He was in pain, he was struggling and despite this he was resilient. Being resilient doesn't mean you don't struggle or suffer. It means that you're able to make it through that suffering. Some things that help me get through the tough times and stay resilient are talking to my friends and talking to God. Reflect now on how you can be resilient and then I'll say a few words to God. Almighty God, thank you for the strength you give to get through each day. Help us to be resilient in difficulties. Remind us that those things that are tough help us grow. Help us to choose a perspective of resilience and live full lives. Amen. My challenge for you this week is to choose a perspective of resilience. Maybe your online lessons are really tough. You can get through it. Maybe you're struggling. Speak to someone. But you are resilient. You are strong enough. I know that you are. Reflect now on what you can do to build your resilience. Thanks so much for joining me for Collective Worship this week.